What is the most sensible approach to dealing with a cat with cystitis? Well, the first decision is, is it obstructed or not? Because if it is obstructed, then clearly that the cat has got to be unobstructed, got to be able to pass a catheter, um, clear the debris, etc., etc. And um, you can contact me, and I can tell you a lot more about that. But really, it's a case of, of ruling out stones, etc. But remember that over 90% of obstructed cats, it is actually stress bladder that's the underlying problem. It's going to be um, spasm of the urethra and um, urethral sludge, urethral plugs. So please, if you remember one thing only from this little video, remember to do rectal exams on anaesthetized cats that are obstructed because that is the best way of actually finding out what's happening in them and whether it's a stone or not. So if they're not blocked, then which way do you go? Well, it's their age that's the most helpful. If they are older than about 10 years of age, then remember, a urinary tract infection is much more likely and stress bladder is less likely. So if a cat presents older than 10 with signs of recurrent cystitis, or to be honest, it's just first time cystitis, you really need to culture the urine, check bloods, look for diabetes, look for hypothyroidism, look for kidney disease, etc. And remember that bladder cancer is seen in older cats as well, plus stones, of course. What if the cat is less than 10 years of age? Remember that's where the vast majority of our cats that develop cystitis, they will be less than 10 years of age. So here about 75% of them are going to end up having a stress bladder. Now obviously that's 25% that could still be something else, but let's not dive in and do drastic things straight away, unless they're obstructed, and that we already talked about. So for a first offense in a cat that is less than 10 years of age, then I'm going to start finding out from the owner um, how stressed is that cat's lifestyle? How many cats are there? Is he on dry food? Is he on wet food? All that sort of thing. And my first approach is going to be, well, let's try and de-stress his environment. Let's try and wean him onto wet food, increased drinking, etc. If they've got a urine sample, or if I can take a urine sample and I can check the urine specific gravity, then straight away I'll know whether or not it's safe to give him a short course of a non-steroidal. These are usually fit young cats, and if they're not blocked, then that's quite an appropriate way forward. But I do like to know that their kidneys are fine to start with, and the easiest way is a urine sample. So I'm going to make those environmental changes. And if everything's going well, next couple of weeks he's looking great. He's a happy cat, he's not blocked again. Good, maintain that. If he's having serious issues and we need to definitely look a little further, then I'm gonna have him back into the hospital and I'm gonna do my workup because I wanna make sure I'm not missing a stone. Remember, about 20% of these cases will have a stone and I don't wanna leave a cat um, with a stone in its bladder for more than two weeks. That's quite long enough because they're uncomfortable. So I wanna find if it's there and then take that out. Also, I'm going to check for urinary tract infections. I know only about 5% or less of these cats will have a urinary infection, but I would like to know if there is one before um, considering giving antibiotics, etc. And then it's a case of if I rule out the urinary infections, I rule out the stones, I rule out other causes, then I know I've got a stressed animal, a stressed bladder. I'm really going to work hard on the owner to de-stress that cat's lifestyle. I may well be adding in non-steroidals. I may well be adding in spasmolytics. They can really help male cats and female cats. I'm going to make sure that the cat's on the right diet. If they cannot give it a wet food, then I'm definitely going to be going to one of the prescription diets that are designed for cats with bladder disease because those diets do reduce the urine-specific gravity. I may be using um, gags if it helps, helps in this particular cat and only if it's a short-term reason, maybe they're, they're going into a cattery or something like that, I might consider tricyclex. So all the things that you do to address the idiopathic cystitis then come into play at that point.